Hello everyone, today I'm going to be on my phone. Just kidding, I'm going to be on my computer. Today I'm going to show you how to use Android applications on your computer. Okay, so you're probably wondering, how did I use an Android application on my computer? And it's actually fairly simple. You can download an Android emulator off the internet called BlueStacks. So the link will be in the description. Just go ahead and click Download BlueStacks. And at this point, you just simply wait for it to finish downloading. And when it is done downloading, you will run the installer. So I'll save you all a little bit of time. And just skip forward. Okay, so the installation disk is finished downloading. We'll then click on it. We don't need this window anymore. We can close it. And it will just simply, uh, for me, I am updating because I already have it installed. But for you, this would simply be the installation process. With this, you are able to run pretty much any Android application on your emulator. Uh, this includes Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook Messenger, any sort of games. The newest games also work because this is um, its own system and it acts like its own phone uh, independently. So it will receive updates as would any other. So once this just simply finishes installing or updating in my part, you can get started using your emulator. Okay, it looks like it's about done. Alright, now it's extracting files. Obviously, if you're using yours for the first time, this will also happen. Okay, looks like it's done. Alright, it says two to three minutes uh, based on PC's performance for first boot. Um, this could sometimes obviously change based on your performance, but also this is just the first boot. Um, you will not have to worry about two to three minutes every single time. Uh, usually it'd be about 40 seconds, at least for mine. And again, this all depends on your computer's performance. Okay, so it looks like we are done. And I already have some apps on here. So now I can use this as any sort of Android device. So you can go on the Play Store, you can install any sort of apps you want to install, including social media apps, games, and things like that. Um, this is full version, so everything that will be released to that Play Store will also be released to this. So you don't have to worry about waiting for things to catch up. Um, these contain very new games, actually, if I can find one. Uh, yeah, it's Call of Duty Mobile. It's a fairly new game, actually. I believe it came out very, very recently, within the last week. And we also have this game, PC Architect, I have downloaded. I play this game quite a bit. It's pretty simple, but I like it unless you simulate building computers. Comment if you all want me to do like a review on this game, because I really like it. But it's not super popular, so you don't know. Alright, it's just extracting files for like the first time. You know, normal. Just wait for it to start up. Um, because I updated, this may or may not delete my progress. I really don't think it will, because in a real life situation, you have a phone. You know, if you update your phone, it's not going to erase your progress. It's all synced through Google Play. So this shouldn't move. Um, it shouldn't delete any of my progress either. And it looks like it didn't. So yeah, just another reinforcement that says, yep, it works just like a regular phone. So yeah, it saves all my bills, all my stuff on here. Yeah, let me let me know if y'all want me to do a review. It's a really fun game. Hmm. But yeah, as you see, it still has all my progress. So. And then we can also go over. And yeah, like I said, you can do any sort of games like 8 Ball. This is 8 Ball, I just got downloaded. Um, you could install social media apps. You can use Snapchat with the camera. Instagram kind of also works. Uh. Yeah, you can know all these new applications like Pokemon Go if you wanted to, you know. Um, like an 8 ball pool. Um, there is a camera on here, obviously, as a regular app. So if you like it on here to look at it, there's the camera. 
Alright, it's just opening up. I'm gonna allow it to use my location. Allow it for photos. So yeah, it, it worked. Uh, you just gotta take my for it. I don't want y'all seeing me, that'd be weird, you know? But yeah, that's how you get uh, Android emulator on top of your computer. Very simple, quick download, not too big, you know. Let me know if y'all want like more videos of this or review on PC Architect, the game. Let me know what else you want me to do. I'll try to cover it. Tell me what you think, like, dislike, whatever you want. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to get new content. And I guess that is it for today. See y'all next time.